welcome back to our channel so in today's session let's have a look on a few more tags in html first we will see the image tag so image tag so as the name itself indicates so this tag is used to display the image on the browser so for this tag is i m g so this is the tag so to display the image on the screen so for this we had a number of attributes so as we said that attribute is the some additional information so now let us see the attributes of this image tag so the attributes of image tag first one is in order to display the image on the screen first we have to provide the location itself right so that means we, we have to use source so this is the source where the image exists from that source the image will be displayed on the browser next alternate alt that means alternate alternate means if in any case or in any situation if it is difficult to display the image on the browser it will display this alternate text so that means here we have to write the text so if there is any problem to display the image on the screen then this alternate text will be displayed in the place of image so for that we have to use this alt a l t alternate text next width so this specifies i mean uh, this uh, uh, this specifies the width of the image to be displayed on the screen so this must be in pixels in pixels right next similarly height user to uh, set the size of the image we, we want to display on the screen this is also in pixels next align alignment whether we want to align it on right side or left side so left or right and this will not work in html5 so this align tag Align attribute will not work in HTML5. Only in the HTML lower versions we can use this align tag. So whether we want to display the image on the left side or the right side. Now let us see an example. So image src is equal to src is a source where the file exists. Quotations let it be d slash some hello.jpg let it be hello.jpg is a file name next alternate is equal to hello next width is equal to 300 similarly height is equal to 300 align is equal to right right so this is an example the code to write or uh, sorry to display the image on the screen so source this finds the image at the particular source and alternate so it will set the alternate name if it is difficult to display the image and width and height this specifies the width and height we want to display on the screen and this align is nothing but an alignment of that particular image so we will see all these things in the laptop right next so this is all about the image tag now let us move on to the next one one more tag that is anchor tag Anchor tag. 
so <coughs> the anchor tag is displayed by using a small a or a capital a right so it is for anchor tag so this is used to set the hyperlinks for the existing text so if we want to click one text and we want to redirect to the another web page then we will use this anchor tag right redirection from present web, web page to one more web page another web page so hyperlinks right so this is mainly used for hyperlinks so what are the attributes for this anchor tag attributes right first one h reference h reference h reference means hyperlink reference that means the target web page to be displayed right so this is the hyperlink reference simply the target web page to be displayed right next title so whatever the text we are writing on the title that will be displayed on as a tool tip tool tip right so this is the starting tag and this is the ending tag for the hyperlink so in between these two we have to write the text and for the text the hyperlink will be set so title whenever the cursor moves on to this hyperlink automatically a tool tip will be displayed that will be this title so for tool tip so this we will see while executing this next let's reference title and finally targets so where the target web page should be displayed so don't get confused h reference means which page should be displayed target means where to be displayed that means in the same page or the new page i mean in the same window or the new window right so target by default by default it will be in the current window itself so no new window will be opened in the current window only we will get the targeted web page and here if you use new then it will be displayed in the new window so whatever the web page linked to this attribute i mean to link to the text that targeted web page will be opened in the new window or we can simply give the frame numbers so this will, you will understand whenever i explain about this frames concept right we can give this frame number so simply our window can be divided into different frames right different frames so if you provide a hyperlink here and if you want to display whatever the information you you want to uh, display on the screen that should be displayed in this frame we have to give the target as this frame number so each and everything will be having a frame number so in this target where the target page should be displayed that must be given as a frame number so whatever the frame number we are giving the targeted web page will be displayed on the particular frame number right new frame number or underscore present or parent underscore parent parent means in the same window itself it will be displayed right so this is about the anchor tag so see example a h reference is equal to we can write the web page name or url so here we have to use a url <coughs> web page location or url youtube.com close YouTube. So this is a sample code. 
to implement the hyperlink. So whenever you move this cursor here, the link will be appeared. And if you click this one, this YouTube page will be displayed. And if you mention here target is equal to new, automatically in the new window, that YouTube will be displayed, opened. Right? So we will be we will see while implementing these tags in the system. Right? Now let us move on to the third tag. It's also a simple thing. Third one. Third one is a mark you tag. So mark you tag is used to display the text. I mean, uh, it is used to scroll the text from left to right or right to left, right? Or top to bottom or bottom to top. So simply we can say it as an animated text, right? Moving text. So we can, so the tag is simply mark you. And if you use this mark you, the text will be moved. Moving text. This is for moving text. So what are the attributes here? What are the attributes here? The first one is behavior. So it can be scroll or it can be alternate. Right? So as we know, if it is a window, scroll, if you use scroll, the text will be moved this side. Right? And again, it will start from here. It will start from here. It will start from here. Right? So that is only unidirection, unidirectional. Right? So either it may be from left to right or right to left. But it is a unidirectional. So when we use this alternate, the text will be in bidirectional. So the text will be keep on moving until it reaches its boundary. Whenever it reaches its boundary, again it will start moving in the reverse reverse side. Reverse side, okay. So first it will move this side. Afterwards this will move this way. So this is a unidirectional. This is sorry, sorry. This is a bidirectional. This is unidirectional. Unidirectional. That means a single side. It will move on the single side. Next. <coughs> BG color. So BG color means BG means background. So whatever the text we are displaying, that means we are moving, that will be in a background color. So it is a background color. Right? So in this color, the text will be moving either in this side or in this side. Right? Next. Height. So, what is the height we want to display for the movement of the text? Right? It will be in terms of either percentage or in a pixel. Generally, it will be displayed on a pixels in the form of pixels. Right? So, here the the width, I mean the height of the text to be moved from right, the right to left or right, left to right. Next loop 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 means how many times that should be displayed i mean that is that should be moved the moving test should be done so number of times number of times the text should be moved either from right to left or right left to right so that we will display in the loop if you mention loop is equal to two only two times it will be moved. If it is a scroll, two times the scrolling will be done. And if it is an alternate, this one, one direction, this is another direction, two. 
it will be closed it will be stopped the text will not move after this loop right so this loop attribute shows how many times the moving text should be done right so these are the few attributes for mark you tag the syntax for implementing this one is simply we can use mark you close the mark you right so we have to write the text what we have to move that should be written in between the starting and ending tag of mark you so if you write this mark you the sandeep will be moving only in the unidirectional by default it will be scrolling so this is by default so if you are not mentioning any behavior then the text will be in unidirectional that means it will be keep on scrolling the loop will be infinity infinite by default by default it is infinite so it doesn't stop it will, it will be continuously moving from uh, either it may be unidirectional or bidirectional by default it will be infinite if you mention specifically this loop then it will follow the loop attribute so otherwise it will be in infinite right so hope you understood this uh, three tags that is uh, image tag and then anchor tag hyperlinks and then mark you tag now let us see the implementation of all these three tags in the screen hello friends so let us see the three tags which we have discussed just now image tag anchor tag and mark you tag so first let us see the image tag so as we know so everything we have to write in between the html tags so so inside the html we can write the header tag so inside the header we can write the title so which is displayed on the title bar so html tags so this will be displayed on the title bar and let us close the head the header tag now we have to write everything which we have, we have to display on the screen that should be written inside the body tag so for the image tag img is the tag and we have to write the source src is equal to see here i am having logo.jpg file so i am just linking a linking to this logo.jpg and we have seen this alternate alt is equal to sandeep saradi so this will be displayed only when the image is not able to display on the screen then only this text will be displayed if the image is displayed this text will be not displayed right now let us uh, fix the width width is equal to 400 and height is equal to 400 that means 400 pixels right so let us save this one in the same position in the same source that means in the desktop html classes i am um, saving here image dot html save so let us open this one so you can observe here image dot html so if you open this image dot html the image will be displayed here right so this is the image logo so let us see, i will show the logo image see this is the logo image right so this i am displaying on the web browser screen if so here both the html file and the image file both are in the same location so i didn't mention any source directly i have given the same name right so if it is in another another location let it be in d drive or e drive we have to specify the complete location of this file right so e drive come e drive colon 
logo dot jpg or any in any other folder that folder name should be displayed that means complete location should be displayed here right then alternate so if there is if there is any uh, difficulty to display this image on the screen this alternate will be displayed right so let it be just in a typing mistake in order to type logo i have just typed log dot jpg so where this file is not existed right so here in this location there is no file with a name log dot jpg so now the alternate now the alternate name will be displayed sandeep saradi here right so instead of displaying the image the alternate name will be displayed right width and height see if you are not mentioning the width and size see the original size will be displayed so this is the original size of the logo dot jpg it's a very big size right so here I am restricting the size width is equal to some 500 height is equal to some 300 see according to the width and height that image will be displayed width and height right hope you understood this one and also alignment right that depends upon the HTML version align is equal to right let us see see the the image is displayed on the, displayed on the right by default it will be displayed on the left and if you mention here right the image will be displayed on the right side right hope you understood this one right now let us move on to the next one that is anchor tag anchor tag so let us use this br we are used, used for break row lines that means new uh, i mean simply we can say it as an enter two enters right so let us see the anchor tag which is um, implemented by using a h reference is equal to you have to mention the url here see here in the same location i had a number of um, See, I had a number of uh, files, HTML files, in that we will link this table.html. So, H reference, capital letters, table.html. So, if I if I click that particular text, this table.html should be displayed. See, table, close the anchor tag. So we will get the hyperlink for this text whatever the text we are writing in between the starting and ending tags of anchor tag that will be displayed uh, i mean the link will be provided for that particular text so let us implement this one so refresh the page we can get a table right see you can observe here the link so if you move the cursor to the text a hand will be appearing that we call it as a hyperlink if you click this table automatically the html table.html will be open so this is the table.html in the previous session we have created this one right so let us see the attributes for this h reference so if you mention title see hyperlink so this title attributes is a tooltip tooltip means the text displayed whenever you move the cursor on the particular hyperlink see we can get the tooltip hyperlink right so you, you can observe the hyperlink tooltip the text is displayed whenever you move the cursor to the particular text next target target is equal to see so by default the target will be in the parent that means if you click this table the table.html will be displayed on the same window so new no new window has been created in the same window itself we are getting the table ta table.html that means the targeted web page now if you mention in the source target is equal to new 
and if whenever you click this one it will be displayed on the new window see you can observe here two windows has been created right the parent window is not changing and the the link the target page is displayed on the new window so new window is created here so for this we have to create a i mean we have to use a target page i mean target <coughs> attribute so hope you understood this anchor tag right next once again click the br now let us see the mark you mark you followed by the text we have to write and close the text so as i said that by default it will be a unidirectional the unidirectional the text is displaying from right to left right so you can observe here whenever it reaches the border automatically it will be again starting from the right it will it doesn't come back see it will move and whenever it finishes there again it will start from the right side so that is called a scroll scroll and <coughs> it is a unidirectional behavior is equal to alternate then whenever see whenever it reaches the boundary automatically it will bounce back towards the backwards right see here the text is moving from right to left whenever it reaches here again it will come back that means it bidirectional the text will be moved in the bidirectional so here we can use a formatting text font size is equal to 20 color is equal to green right again you can use a bold see bold font so everything will be applied sandeep sir the content is so bold and next the size also increased now let us see the height height attribute height so before that we will see the bg color bg color is background color bg color is a attribute for both the body tag and this one right bg color is equal to let it be hello hmm, let us see this one so whatever the text where it is displaying that means moving everything will be in hello color right hello color line is mentioned here and height mention the height in, in what height it should be displayed from 100 the 100 pixels the height will be fixed to the 100 pixels right so this we in uh, these are the attributes we can implement for the mark you tag right so hope you understood these three tags the first one is the image tag in order to display the image on the screen next one is anchor tag in order to create a hyperlinks that means redirections and then mark you tag in order to move the text from left to right or right to left on the screen and you can also apply this bg color on the body tag also bg color is equal to some red automatically complete window will be in yellow color i mean red color so whatever the color we are mentioning here body inside the body that will be appeared in the window right so hope you understood all these three tags right if you are having any doubts regarding these tags feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubt if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much